dear friends uh, welcome to one more video right uh, that is connected with disaster management <coughs> the application of disaster management uh, in case of sorry <coughs> application of gis and remote sensing in disaster management so it's a simple video <coughs> so it is a uh, it is a sample it's a palaka district you can see the boundary see that black one see you can see the boundary and these are the <coughs> landslide suspect susceptibility uh, areas means landslide prone area the red one uh, that is highly prone to landslides and the, the light red one that mixed with uh, uh, white white patch that is uh, that is the median medium sus sus susceptibility susceptibility area susceptibility areas so you can see uh, with the help of this one we can predict see it's just a predict see uh, we are using here uh, both um <clears throat> satellite remote sensing and uh, <coughs> gis see these layers are pr prepared by the help of gis means that rgs or some uh, some other software whatever it is a commercial or non commercial <coughs> and uh, see this google earth is an open source one so we are showcasing which are the uh, prone areas susceptible areas right this is the landslide susceptibility right so the red one are highly susceptible and the <coughs> light red that is medium risk areas so i will show you one more thing uh, how to this flood area i'll show you uh, yes <coughs> these are the flood prone areas right the blue patches are rivers and the red one that is the uh, flood plain chance for occurring floods in palaka industry right? please don't ask uh, the source of this uh, data is collected from some other sources right uh, we are using uh, to monitor the kinds of flood landslides etc right see the red one that is the areas having chance for flooding and the blue one that are the what different water bodies by right? not just rivers different water bodies right uh, maybe a river having less water but uh, the flood plain you know that the flood plain importance of flood plain and also see you can see a river fine right? and these are the flood plains of that river okay so this this way you can we can the geographers and cartographers can map certain <coughs> certain natural hazards so it's a continuation video uh dear friends okay so that's all about <coughs> uh, both landslide and i see this one are used for certain certain other information right so thank you thanks for watching remember we people are studying more different geographical pattern different, different geographical process and uh, different geographical behavior so behavior of the flood pattern of the river see you can see a, you can observe a pattern okay so i am very thankful uh, thank you thanks a lot